Welcome to the latest Easy Stamp tutorial. Recently we got a call from a customer for which we had converted his data from a competitor's program. We had converted his USA data and imported it into uh, Easy Stamp. After the import, he noticed a lot of errors in his data like items marked as never hinged instead of mint hinged, used items incorrectly listed as mint never hinged, and items just marked with uh, no great information whatsoever. So he wanted a way to run a report in Easy Stamp and see the items he inventoried on the main screen at the same time so he could correct the uh, mistakes. And you can easily do this in Easy Stamp. So first let's run the line item report to see what we have in inventory line by line. So we go to the reports menu, line item, and there's the basic uh, line item report and for this uh, demo we've got these four entries here. Now you can easily bring up each item in the main screen by double clicking on an item. So if we double click here, you can just bounce back and forth but you cannot edit the data until you close the report. So if you try and edit, you can't. You have to close the report and then you can go in and edit the, the, uh, the item as you need to. So let's bring that report up again. Now this method requires you to rerun the report if you wanted to see the items again as I have just done. Not the best solution for more than one or two stamps at a time. So to see the stamp list and the main screen at the same time, we need to use the stamp list viewer. So we simply run any report, like I've just done now with the line item report, and then go to the options menu in the report view, and then we assign the stamp list, or we could have just hit F8 while in the report view. And here's the default layout of, um, of this report. And this is a floating window, so you can position it any way you like. For this video, I'll keep it in the uh, view of the main screen, but I can easily move it off screen or however I want to view it. But for now, I'll just uh, put it here so that we can, uh, we can work with it. Now, the customer also wanted to have the net grade value and the net grade, uh, net grade quantities visible, so we'll easily add them now by clicking on the Edit Field icon below, which is this one here. One thing to notice about uh, uh, that's kind of everywhere in Easy Stamp is when you hover over any icon, you'll see down in this area here, known as the status bar, a brief hint to show you what it's uh, what it's going to do. So as I said, we'll click on Edit, and we're going to add the net grade and the grade quantity, which I've already had there, but the default report doesn't have them on there, so I'll take them off. But if you want to add them back, we just go down here and find the net grade. There's the grade quantity and the net grade I believe is right there and then you can reposition them any way you want. If you wanted to, me, uh, to move them up you would just use the up and down arrows but I'll leave them where they are for now. Okay so let's just uh, resize these fields so that we can see them all for this demo. So there's our grade quantities and net grades. Now we can add, um, now that we have this set up, we can double click on any item uh, in the line item uh, in the list view and simultaneously edit or add as needed. We can add a new grade or edit a quantity. So for example, if I double click on this one, I'm now able to go into uh, the main screen of Easy Stamp and if I wanted to add this stamp, I can right click on it, click on edit selected, add my quantity. So let's say I have two of those and you can put a location in any of the fields that, that you might want to type in. And we click on Save. Now we need to update and refresh this list. So if we click on that, you see now that we have four which has been updated. So for now, I'm going to close this list view. Now, another question this customer had was how to enter his stamps when he has multiple copies of the same stamp, either in the same grade or different grade. And this is very simple to do. So let's first bring up number 145. I have uh, three used copies of this stamp and have scanned them in and are in easy image already to be pasted in. I'll show you that now. 
So there is the three stamps that are, are waiting to be inventoried. Now you can attach separate images to each copy or use the supplied image. Your choice, but for this demo I'll supply a separate image for each of the uh, duplicated stamps. So the first copy I'll leave with the, uh, the default image as it is here. And then I will add the other three stamps and show you how to combine multiple copies into one record also. So let's first duplicate this record using the duplicate icon here. So we click on that. And now we have dupe two of two. So let's say we had a very good copy of this stamp. I'm going to get rid of the used one, uh, the extra fine one. Oops, got to highlight it. So there's our used copy. And now I'm going to paste the image in. So let's take this guy here, put that into the clipboard. I right click on the image and click on paste. And I'm going to call that 145-1 and save it. And there it is. And if I wanted to enter any of the other information, I could. But for briefness, I'll just inventory this stamp now. And I've got my second dupe. Now I'll do um, uh, a second one. So I'll dupe this guy here again. And I'm going to clear these guys out. And I'm going to paste the second image. So let's grab this guy. Right click, paste. I'll give it a file name. And let's say this guy is a used extra fine. And I've now done that copy. Now let's do the third copy again by duping it. We can clear this. Oops. And right click, go and grab the image for the third one. And paste it in. And say, oops, I have to give it a file name. And let's say this is a used extra fine as well. So now I have four copies of this particular stamp number 145, three duplicated from the original one. Now I'll show you an, another way to enter multiple copies of the same stamp in the same record. So I'm going to go back to number 145, the very first record that we had. And let's say I had Let's go back here. And let's say I had a used very good copy as well. I'm just going to say that I had one. So click on the plus sign. We can also enter a mint hinged extra fine. And we're going to change this so that our display orders our inventory grades first so we can see them all. Now if I rerun my line item report, you'll see that there's our multiple copies of number 145 that we entered and there's our couple of copies for number 173 and again if you do, uh, just double click on one of these it'll switch back to that particular stamp uh, with whatever image that we had assigned to it. I hope this has been useful for you and uh, thanks for watching.